Today's topic, how to save your tax practice. Now, we came up with this idea um, because of a lot of the social listening that we tend to do and a lot of the conversations we have on a daily with you all, with uh, with tax pros, with the folks who are making decisions about their practices, with accountants every single day. And uh, the running theme of the day, at least the last couple of years, has been uh, one of, of uh, some difficulty in uh, maintaining just the tax business that you have uh, when it comes to clients, uh, the tools that you use, uh, the tactics that you're engaged in, and just plain old being sick and tired of that, dealing with that IRS. A lot of folks just want out, and we're here to say it doesn't have to be that way. We know that things are bad for a lot of you right now. It's okay. Um, we're going to try to to get through and offer you, you know, some uh, you know some tactics and tools and some advice on you know what it is that you all you know can do. So yeah, since I already had bookkeeping and that didn't seem to be slowing down, and I wanted to add uh, two more revenue streams. The only thing I could think of to do was to add on tax because I had. A Few clients leave me during the past year and a half because they said they wanted everything all in one okay let's figure out how to add that so for the past year i've been working with my offshore team and trying to figure out how to add tax um, and i've since partnered up with a cpa in new jersey who is uh, doing subcontracted work for my firm so i've added on tax as a revenue slow because we want to take it slow but sure you know little by little um but then also um slowly to add on tax advisory with that since he can provide those services. In the meantime, um, how does one add advisory just is the operative word here, just add advisory yeah. to expand your capabilities, yeah, but it's the magic sauce. It's the magic. <laughs> there's no magic wand with that. Yeah, yeah.